So I see her, it's like we all go to boarding school. Pretty much. And it's like we all spend the guts of a month and a half seeing each other practically every day, sometimes all day and every night. <laughs> Plongeant dans les coulisses de la mode, Picture Me est loin d'être un petit film innocent. Ce film devient très vite un documentaire troublant. I, mean, I met Sarah, she was starting to, she had been a model since she was 14, but when she was 18, she started to work full time. And so I kind of met her at that point, and I had um, starting a career as a filmmaker. So I would bring a camera, like this little camera, uh -huh. everywhere I went, and just film our, our lives together, really just for fun. And it was very innocent. It was just sort of very youthful fun filming her family, me and her, and then her going on, on castings and photo shoots and, and runway shows. That's when some of the dark stuff came out. Derrière le glamour se cache parfois le sordide. Tabou dans le milieu, les abus sexuels ne seraient pas exceptionnels. Senna, she tells the story of, of going on a casting with a yeah. very famous photographer who asked for he asked her to take her clothes off and then asked her to you know be in this sexually compromising situation with him and um, those stories are are it's known that that goes on in the fashion industry but no one talks about it in fashion it's it's a lot of the time people act like the rules don't apply so um, they will act in a way with these young girls that they would never act in a more professional environment, you know. Le mannequinat se résumerait-il au slogan « Sois belle et tais-toi ». That when you're working as a model, you actually have no control over your appearance. Yeah. You know, I mean, the photographer, you're filtered through the photographer's lens, the makeup artist is, you know, painting you up however they want. So, you know, the, the stylist is dressing you how they want to see you, so your job is to make the clothes look good. I mean, it's part of the job, really. And I think that sometimes, what you know, in the film, my friends talk about photographers or stylists making comments and, like, sort of saying, too big here or yeah. whatever. And it's really, it's very insensitive, and that does have an effect. But at the same time, if I put myself in the shoes of the stylist or the photographer, their job is not to see you as a human being. Their job is to see you as an aesthetic object. So if you want to sell clothes, then the body has to become less important. Has to disappear. And so it does literally disappear, and that's why you see all these really skinny girls, and that's why they like the girls whose bodies are not competing with the clothes that they're trying to sell. Yeah. Not in any sense overweight. I never have been. I've maintained, you know, the same weight for a long time, but like they'll slap your butt and be like, oh, you know, fat in Italian or in French, you know? Une logique perverse qui peut pousser les plus fragiles vers l'anorexie. It's funny because everyone outside the industry talks about anorexia. Yeah, but but the models themselves mm -hmm. never talk about it. I remember seeing girls who, um, you, you know, maybe they would do one season of shows and then the next season they'd come back and they would be skinnier and they would work more. Yeah. So people are actually, um, it's like negative reinforcement. They like, they are actually given the opportunity to work more, make more money. More people say that they look beautiful, the skinnier they get. Levant le voile sur un milieu fermé, ce film a été diversement accueilli par le monde de la mode. But like in the fashion industry, it's about selling products, it's about creating a fantasy, an advertising fantasy about a lifestyle that show behind the scenes. People don't really want to show that all the time. There have been different reactions to the film and people, uh, other models for example, have seemed, it seems to really resonate with them and some of them have come to me and thanked me and said, that it means so much to them that this film is is out there, are critical and sort of say, oh, well, you're so privileged, how can you complain about this job, you know? And they don't seem to appreciate how young some of these girls are, and they don't, they, they don't, they somehow seem to overlook the sexual abuse. I think it's, uh, it's funny, I think some people almost take the attitude, well, if you're getting paid a lot, then you can't complain. But that's ridiculous. Au-delà de la mode, ce film envoie un message à toutes les femmes. The models don't have any voice politically. Obviously, as a model, your job is to be a silent image. Um, that's part of the job. But I think that 
models should have more control over their work environment, and I think that that would create a healthier environment for the models, but it would also have a far-reaching effect on women in general in terms of the, the images that the industry projects. So I think if you look out for the health of the models, then you're, you're solving a problem that's much you know, further reaching.